The future of the Indian Air Force is the Tejas Mk-2. The 4.5 generation combat jet will probably be fly tested in 2023, but it is already making foes of Bharat worried and drawing in attention in the export market. New IAF Chief, Air Chief Marshal B. R. Chowdhury, stated recently that seven squadrons of Tejas Mk-2 are projected for induction in the coming years, while discussing the future roadmap of the Indian Air Force. Once the procurement is complete, it will increase the capacity of IAF significantly, and also be a move closer to the Atmanurba Bharat campaign. With increase in range and payload capability, the new variant will be much superior than Tejas Mark 1A, 73 of which are being procured by the Indian Air Force from the HAL under the 48,000 crore rupee deal that was approved by the government on January 13. The medium-weight fighter, Tejas Mk-2 is in the critical design review phase, which involves a multidisciplinary technical review to ensure that a system can proceed to fabrication, demonstration, and testing to meet desired performance standards. This stage is expected to be completed by the end of 2021. The progress made so far includes the completion of cockpit configuration, sensors, antennae, procurement of raw materials and their availability, detailed design of various subsystems and the finalization of standard operating procedures. The first prototype will roll out by August 2022. Following this, next on the schedule, will be the commencement of the flight tests from 2023 onwards followed by induction by end of 2025. The MK-2 is to be easy to maintain, and are unlikely to face any major maintenance issues, making it a cheaper option on the export market. The changes in the MK-2 version include an elongated and flattened front fuselage, the addition of a nose plug, and an optimized canopy shape and rear fuselage which will lead to improved transonic and supersonic performance. The close-coupled canards provide additional lift, improves wing lift, reduces trim drag, and also reduce transonic and supersonic drag, and can be used as air brakes during landing. The Tejas Mk-2 is going to be equipped with indigenous UTAM AESA radar. Indigenous infrared search and track systems for passive target acquisition will also be featured along with an indigenous radar warning receiver and software-defined radio-based tactical data link for secured communication. It will also sport an integral unified electronic warfare suite and a dual-color missile approach warning system developed by DARE, Defense Avionics Research Establishment. The cockpit will feature a state-of-the-art large area display with side-mounted hand-on throttle and stick for better operational viewing and pilot ergonomics. Currently feasibility studies to integrate indigenous missiles such as the BrahMos NG and Astra Mk-2 missile is ongoing. With future integration of the Sudar Shan laser guided bomb, smart anti airfield weapons, and swarm drones in the works. HAL maintaining the Tejas Mk 1A program delivery, without delays, is crucial as it is the sole operator of fighter aircraft manufacturing plants in the country. Even with stepping up of the private sector, HAL still is the bottleneck in Indian Air Force procurement process.